Okay, let's see how does Marathon respond. Tourism is an industry where both demand and surprise can be very sensitive to events such as terrorism and political violence. If terrorism attack one destination, it not only impacts tourism industry but also uh, hotel industry. Because no tourists, it means no incomes to our hotel, so they are very related to each other. There are five impacts on our hotel. Uh, owing to lack of safety and security, it will reduce our hotel good reputation because uh, tourists will not choose our hotel to stay because they are fear and insecurity. So low occupancy, it means low incomes to our hotel. So it leads to we need to lay off our employees and uh, uh, decrease utilities to support hotel operate successfully. So, the importance of image, the intangible tourism, depends on positive image. Because tourists think security and safety is the major determinant to uh, visit a place, if they think this destination is to be a target, they will avoid visiting it. So, after terrorism attack, it results in low occupancy, such as decrease in average daily rate and the revenue per available room. It's, it is apparent that they impact our hotel incomes and values. As room sales remain decrease, hotel manager will need to make hard decisions to reduce operating costs and determine capital improvement, such as reduce work schedules or lay of employees to support a uh, hotel can operate successfully during this period. So next, we hire a professional uh, give us some suggestions and recommendations. Thank you, Mindy. In a tourist destination, um, the, per, the, the balance between the provision of security and guest convenience has always been a contentious issue. But we reckon that security is the basis of guest convenience. Therefore, we have come up uh, with some suggestions for the hotel to deal with terrorist threat. We divide our strategies into three steps, prevention, preparation, and when and after it happens to prepare for such um, to prevent such an event from happening, we need to create a per, um, perception of unacceptable risk for those planning such a terrorist attack by providing a security level, a, a security presence in the hotel, installing surveillance cameras, and exercising access control. In addition, we can carry out identity control at entry point and put in place restriction on potentially dangerous items. To prepare for such an event, we need to establish a line of command. So with high, we need to establish a line of communication with a high-level police office so that police and other assistance such as medical assistance can be provided immediately. Also, we need to have a chain of command in this hotel so that in critical processes such as evacuation can be carried out effectively. Besides, we need to have procedures for handling and mm, hotel suspicious hotel guests. Uh, besides, we also ha have to establish hotel search team so that we can effectively identify mm, bombs installed by the terrorist. Um, furthermore, procedures for implementing insurance claim uh, and notifying headquarters and identify and ensure the safety of handicapped guests have to be in place. We also have to um, have two programs. The first one is used to train um, hotel staff on how to deal effectively with terrorist threat. The second one is key management program whereby the general manager of the hotel knows exactly who have access to which part of this hotel. If a terrorist 
attack does happen, we need to, um, beside, apart from ensuring the safety of guests, we need to gather information to assess its impact, maintain public relations by, for instance, having, holding a press conference, and we need to have in place recovery policies and review the crisis and how it is dealt with. Um, lastly, we need to refresh employees on security measures in case of future occurrence. After consulting with us, Young, the general manager of Marathon Hotel, have come up with a comprehensive strategy to deal with this terrorist threat. Let's welcome Young. Okay, thank you, everybody. And my past about the strategy and the solutions for our Marathon Hotels to against the terrorism. So let's say the first one. The first part is about the pre-terrorism phase. In this phase, our purpose is to come out or to find out the preventive measures. So the first one, we should establish an information exchange and the consultation system. And the second one, we should uh, develop a crisis, I mean the terrorism management plan, such as appointing spokesmen and to set up a special department for terrorism information exchange and to keep regular connect with the media, with the government and with other hotels. And the second phase is about uh, the terrorism phase. When the terrorism comes, we have uh, five steps to against it. So the first step is to gather the related information at the first time, and the second is to assess the characteristic and the damage of the terrorism impact. And the third one is the most significant, significant one, is to take action. There are, there are several ways for us to take action, such as publishing the true information and assisting the government and the local place and, the, and the connecting with the stakeholders and just let them know, just calm down and we can figure it out and then there is nothing serious. And the fourth one is to enhance the, the service and the security measures and the last thing is to formulate faster recovery policy. I have to highlight that. Uh, and this step, uh, we should to do it in this phase because during the terrorism um, accident, there will be a large, um, de um, uh, there will be large uh, damage of our reputation, and we have to do it in this period, not later after the terrorism. So the last part, um, when the terrorism passed, so there are uh, our time to do the recovery and do the learning from the terrorism accident, and the most important is to restore customers' confidence. So there are several uh, four ways for us to do. The first is to rebuild the brand through the media. We can cooperate with the local media and just set up more uh, advertisements and to cooperating with them. And the second one is to do more promotional activities such as cooperating and communicating with the uh, related industries such as a restaurant and something others. And the third one is, to, is about the staff. We should to train the staff and to do the staff incentives policy and in order to prevent or to pro protect the phenomenon of the turnover of the staff. And the last one is to renew the budget and the financial policies. So there are several, way, uh, several ways for us to do, such as to use the uh, revenue to set up a foundation to do the protective protection and the pro protection of the terrorism. So that's our response to the Tamiya line. So we, we are not afraid of them. So my dear guest, just trust us and we will ensure your uh, security and safety. Thank you. Okay, thank you for listening. This is our reference list. Thank you.